Okay, so I hope you would have tried this exercise uh, and uh, let's look at the solution here. And uh, here let's look at what will be the corresponding coding for banks. So I go to the developers tab and in order to access this uh, code behind banks, I must go into the design mode. That's the first thing that I must do in order to access the properties or maybe, you know, uh, change the colors or maybe look at the code. So I'll click here on banks and the moment I do that, you know, it says that this is called as private sub command button underscore click. So uh, maybe command button one underscore click uh, is just a nomenclature for banks. I'll just uh, kind of change the name to bank so that, uh, you know, it is kind of more logical in nature. So I'll write this as banks. Okay. And uh, now I will again double click. And now you can see that there is a private sub banks underscore click. So though the original one was still saved, you know, the new one has been created. So I'll delete the old one because that's not required and it no more exists. So this is what we are kind of looking at. So what do we want here in this case? The moment I click banks, whatever was done here, like, you know, it got sorted and got uh, out into the output sheet, the same thing should happen in this worksheet. So basically we are saying that whatever was the macro which we had looked at in the filter dynamic worksheet, that the same macro which we would like to kind of access for uh, this code as well, right? So I have just gone into the edit filter and um, now this is the code which we are kind of talking about because this is the same thing which we want to run here. Uh, so I'll just copy this code. I'll con do a control C. Okay. And uh, another thing to note here is that uh, the sheet which I was working on was in sheet number three, right? So I need to click here. And that's where our private sub banks underscore click is it, it is not in sheet two, it is not in sheet one, but it is in sheet three, because that's where I had created that object. So I must paste the same code here. So uh, let me uh, do it again because maybe uh, this is the first time where you are probably accessing codes within worksheets. Uh, so what I have done is I'm trying to see what was the code within filter underscore dynamic and I went into the edit button and saw that this is the code which was uh, working fine for sheet two. Okay, so this is the whole code which I had copied. Now, when I look at where is my code associated with banks, this is in this sheet called data filter sheet. So this is where I had double clicked and went into this sheet. So you can see this sheet is kind of highlighted. This this code is inside sheet number three. Okay, so I go into the sub and paste the whole code. Now, uh, I think more or less this is what we wanted but we really need to always think that whether some level of customization is required or not. So what this code was doing was uh, essentially it was copying from sheet number one, sorting it, filtering it and pasting it in sheet number two. So here, what do we want? We want to paste it in data filter sheet, right? Here is what we want to paste it. So uh, there would be a slight modification in this code this would be sheets instead of sheet two we would like to paste it in data filter sheet so that's what i will write instead of sheet two i'll write data filter sheet so these are small modifications that you will have to do when when you're running a, a macro and using vba coding to customize it okay so please note again, we have not written the code. We are just modifying some aspects and hoping that these codes actually run. Okay, so I'll stop here and I'll try to run this code. So uh, what we get is a runtime error, which is 1004. So let me see what error it is all about. What happens here is that since we are in the data filter sheet and what is the first command? See range a1 dot select, right? range a1 not select so we are talking about range a1 of uh, data filter sheet or range a1 of sheet 2 or range a1 of sheet 1 so obviously we want uh, to select the range a1 for sheet 1 
so uh, I, I guess you must have kind of uh, figured out we have missed something so we must select sheet 1 first like what we did for selecting data filter sheet I'll copy the same function and instead of data filter sheet I'll write this as sheet 1 okay this is where the first step is select sheet 1 go to its a1 select and then do the tasks okay so let me try if this works now okay so uh, I guess we still are finding some issues uh, now let's look at uh, this range here range a1 dot select maybe you know uh, and here again we have the range a1 dot select uh, see in most cases uh, you will find that these kind of errors actually go when you use these words called active sheet because many a times you know VBA actually confuses uh, and uh, creates a lot of confusion within the code itself and uh, runs and throws this error so uh, what I'm trying to say here is that once you are in sheet 1 this is basically your active sheet okay so instead of just writing range a1 dot select write this as active sheet dot range a1 dot select so this is uh, explicitly telling uh, the uh, code that this was now the active sheet and within this active sheet select this range a1 uh, probably that error is being thrown because we have range a1 dot select twice in this code and uh, you know the code is unable to identify still that which one is active as of now so I have written active sheet here and I will probably do the same thing for the other one as well so I've done the same thing and now I'm hoping that uh, this code would run so let's uh, click on run and uh, probably this has run in the background so since there is no error as such let me see if that that happened oh yes so I guess uh, this is what this code is all about so I guess we got this code correct uh, so let me click here on banks and see if this runs again so finally we got into the code and uh, remember the moral of the story we have used active sheet dot range any sheet which you want to select should go as this kind of a format and uh, majority of the code has been borrowed from what we learned from macros so well, that's about it so let's try to kind of you know uh, copy and paste the same code for materials software and utilities and see if these are also working fine okay so uh, but before that let me go to the design mode and change these command buttons to materials softwares to just copy it from here so that we are not confused about the names itself so I'm just doing this cosmetic changes here utilities and now I will go inside individual buttons and uh, kind of copy this full code which we got it correct right so this is the code uh, what do you think will be the change now so since we have the code the only thing which we have to do is just logically connect uh, the only criteria changes so here we will write this as materials okay now let me go back to my worksheet and uh, see if this materials thing is working fine okay so you know we still get materials so that's fine now let me go to the design mode and uh, also do the same thing for softwares and utilities copy the code pasting it and I'll just change the criteria here software softwares right yeah so uh, going back to the sheet clicking on utilities I'll copy this code and change this to utilities okay perfect so I guess this code should actually work extremely fine so let me just come out of the design mode and click on softwares Oh, looks like it is not kind of working well with us let me see what is the problem here okay so probably I, I figured out what is the problem here we have used software to uh, look at the sector but in our code 
we had mentioned the criteria as softwares with an S. So this is where we actually had missed. So though the code was fine, it didn't give anything. So let me again now try the same thing, softwares. And now it is working fine. Let me click on utilities and it is working fine. Let me click on bags again. Perfect. Let me click on materials. Oh, so though the code actually works perfectly fine, uh, we see that uh, the original uh, you know output is still present so what happens here I mean just to go back and look at what has happened in this case I'll, I'll just delete everything I'll click on banks first so there were seven banks one two three four five six seven banks and now I click on materials and what I see is that obviously this this output is correct but it has still uh, was uh, unable to delete the original uh, you know uh, banks which were also in excess of three so bank one two three and four are still displayed here so may not be uh, the code may not be still fully correct to an extent we require it to be so we may have to kind of just manipulate this code a bit more so that we can kind of you know make this fully functional